Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, after the last reaction video to Numan Ali Khan, I was very impressed and therefore I want to react to another one of his videos. Today, to Palindro Miracle in the Quran. The video is only three minutes long, so this will be a short one. Moreover, I don't even know what a palindrome is. So with no further ado, let's have a look. Allah Azza wa Jalla, he says in Surah Al-Muddathir, وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ The wow in the beginning is like the English capital letter. Like when you start a new sentence, you begin with capital letter. In, in Arabic, wow can be used for many things, over 21 things. One of them is al istinaf to start a new sentence. So you could think of the wow in the beginning as a new sentence. The rest of the ayah says, رَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ Now listen to this carefully. What's the first letter you hear when I say Rabbaka? What's the first letter of the Arabic alphabet Ar. that you hear? R. Everybody heard the Ra? Rabbaka? Yeah. Now listen for the last letter. Rabbaka fakabbir. What's the last letter you heard? Okay. Now listen carefully for the second letter. Rabbaka. What's the second letter? Rabbaka. Ba. Listen for the second last letter. Rabbaka fakabbir. What's the second last letter? Ba. Rabbaka. What's the third letter? Kaf. Rabbaka. Fakabbir. What's the third last letter? You notice something? It's spelled Mirroring. backwards and forwards the same way. It's spelled backwards and forwards the same way. In English literature, we call this a palindrome. Ah, something okay. that spells backwards and forwards. Makes sense. The same way, like Bob or race car. Race car is an interesting palindrome in English. Allah Azza wa Jal gave our messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, words that he didn't write down. وَمَا تَخُطُّهُ بِيَمِينِكَ Allah tells him, You didn't write anything down with your hand. You don't know how to write. So this is entirely an oral exercise for the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he, once he says something, he doesn't edit it. He doesn't correct it. That's it. Allah revealed it and that's it. There's no, I didn't mean to say that. Let me change the way I said it, etc, etc. Right. Right? It's exactly the way Allah instructed him to recite. The challenge for mankind is, you see, the ayah, the simple translation of the ayah would be, declare the greatness only of your Lord. That would be a simple translation of وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ Try to say, declare the greatness only of your Lord in English, or French, or German, or Japanese, or Chinese, or Italian, or Russian, or Urdu, or Farsi. You pick the language. Say it so that it spells backwards and forwards the same way, and say it so you only have one attempt orally. No writing down, no looking up in dictionaries. How yeah. possible is that? Pretty impossible. Subhanallah. I can translate the ayah, but could I translate the miracle in English? If I tell you, declare the greatness only of your Lord, you get some of the message, but do you get the miracle? You don't get the miracle. Hmm. The miracle of Qur'an is in the Arabic language. And this is just one small example. The Qur'an, every ayah has its own miracle. Alright guys, and this is already it for today's very very short video. The takeaway message here for me personally is, yet again, I will have to learn Arabic. To truly continue my deep dive into Islam, I will have to learn Arabic at some point in order to really understand the Quran, to really understand the miracles, and to truly appreciate the Quran as I said previously. Without it, I really feel lost. Even listening to certain scholars, I don't understand every single word they say. They use 
so many Arabic words and I always have to ask, have to look it up. In order to truly understand Islam, I don't think we can get around learning Arabic. That being said, this of course a factor why so many Westerners do not want to look into Islam because they see it as an Arabic religion from Arabia for the Arabs. Many German, French people, English people, they can't fathom learning Arabic in order to understand a religion. They would never do that. And this is why Islam is so foreign to the West. It is not the monotheism, guys. I really have to say this here. It's not the monotheism. It is not the theology itself. It is the interface of the theology. It is the Arabic appearance of the theology. This is what is so shocking and so alien to the Western mind. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. How is Islam appearing to you? What country are you from? What is your perception of the Arabic component, which is the biggest component? of the Quran. What are your views on the West and Islam? Please let me know in the comment section. I would love to discuss it with you. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.